For You Are a Kenyan Child, written by Kelly Kunane, art by Anna Wan. Roosters crow, and you wake one morning in the green hills of Africa. Sun, lemon bright over eucalyptus trees, full of doves. Hody, any but home? Karibu, welcome. Enter Mama's hut that smells of earth and smoke. On a small stool by her fire, sip maize porridge to begin the day, for you are a Kenyan child. Take grandfather's cows to pasture, my son, Mama says. Watch them carefully. Into the wild morning wind, you heard the sleepy cows. To the meadow, where they graze. Then, just for a moment, you slip away to see who else is awake. Hody? Caribou? Bashir is opening the tea shop. Red and yellow beanie on his long loopy hair. He shakes your hand and you shake his. For this is hello for a Kenyan child. He lets you look at him cook. Una taka chapati, he asks. Do you want a pancake? And he gives you the first hot one of the day. But wait, what's that out the door? A great black monkey hurries by. Run from the shop to look. Chase after it. You want to see. But the monkey leaps high up to the, its home in the tops of the trees. You are not watching grandfather's cows on the hill, but you haven't been gone so long, have you? Hody, Karibu. Inside a little wood shop, you peek and you greet the village chief respectfully. Jambo Mzi, hello respected one. Mzi was once an African warrior who hunted lion and carried a spear. He says, Unataka Shikarangu? Do you want to hold the chief's stick? Nadio, yes, you cry and march proudly around him, lifting it high. Grandfather's cows are waiting, thirsty from their grassy breakfast. They want someone to take them to the stream for a drink. But look who's putting tin dishes on her hedge to dry. Hody, Karibu. Grandmother, plump as a hen, smiles and asks, Una taka mazawa lala? Do you want sleeping milk? Sweetened with crushed charcoal? Fresh from a gourd? As you drink, grandmother's knowing eyes remind you of something you should do. What could it be? Oh no! Grandfather's cows! Tell grandmother you are very busy with your chores and hurry away to those cows. But whose garden of green onions is this? Who's hot under the noonday sun? Hody? Karibu? Winnie, skinny with soft hair, is laughing baby brother tied in a cloth on her back. Una taka nududu? Do you want a bug? And from the sky she offers you one because they are so sweet. Mmm, you say, for you are a Kenyan child. The two of you push gently with your toes a dung beetle rolling dung for his home.
Cody? Caribou! Kip to your friend, is the same age as you. He kicks a rag ball by in the African dust. Una taka chisa? Do you want to play, he asks. Cabisa! Of course, you shout, and run without thinking of anything else in the world you have to do but kick the ball with your friend. While you catch your breath, look to the hillside where grandfather's cows always graze. The cows! They're gone! Run to the meadow you should not have left. Run as fast as you can, bare feet over red road, past women washing clothes, skinny dogs barking. Run faster! The cows must be crashing someone's garden or standing in the road, lost at the schoolhouse or gone over a cliff. Why did you wander? Why didn't you stay and do the job Mama gave you today? Uh-oh, there's Grandfather where you should be, on the path with his cows going home for evening tea. Grandfather looks at you, and you look down. Then he says, Twende nyombani sasa. Let's go home now. And he puts your cow switch back in your hand. Take the cows home with Grandfather. Do not stray, for you are a Kenyan child and have been everywhere and seen everything in this African village today. Cows sleeping, rooster quiet, friends home too. Curl up in your little hut near Mama's and listen closely. You might hear among the tall trees a great black monkey telling her child the story of being chased by a boy until they fall asleep. Like you, like us.